Is that right? Why are you trying to... <laughs> Is that better? Yeah. Hello and welcome to Chat With Us Christmas Special. Chat With Us 5. Chat With Us Christmas Special 5. Chat With Us 5 Christmas Special. With Richard and... Helen. So, it's come to the end of the year and Merry Christmas everybody. And uh, I hope you've had a really good year. It's not been that good, really, has it? Well, it's been, it's been mixed. Mildly better than the year before. Mildly. We've done a lot more travelling than I perhaps anticipated. <sighs> yeah, we've managed to squeeze a few things in, haven't we? Yeah, and we've if you've done been watching, very well. And if you've been watching our videos, you'll know uh, what exactly we've been doing, and we hope to continue to do that. Um, <laughs> I'm so behind with the videos, so there's more coming anyway. And um, we just really excited to uh, say happy Christmas to everybody and to say thank you to everybody for watching us this year. Yes, definitely. Yeah, it's been, um, the support we receive is lovely. Thank you, everybody. Really, really sweet and really nice. And we love you all. So thank you very much. Actually, um, because of that, we are doing a small giveaway on this Christmas special. And uh, so competition time, as they say. Is it competition time? Obviously. Is it, as they say? This is news so, to me. Is it news to you? Yeah. Oh, sorry. What are we doing? Uh, well, I thought um, I would give away uh, all the expensive jewellery. And, um, and <laughs> no, then, you're not. And, no, but I haven't got any for a start. What I might get, what you must have given away is my Christmas jumper because I couldn't find it. Yeah. So instead, that I've got this rather. May have gone to a charity shop somewhere. My, oh, I've got this rather sort of Andy Williams esque chunky knit. Which I thought was quite nice. And Is mine Christmas Helen's got some nice furry. Uh, Wait, excuse me. <laughs> oh, sorry. Um, <laughs> some penguins, and um, it gives you a small hint of something we've got planned for next year, but we won't go into that at the moment. Uh, what we'll do is start off with. What should we start off with? A small montage of the year? Okay, I hope you enjoyed that little uh, one minute thing. It was only one minute. I hope it was only one minute. Anyway, I'll have to edit it down to one minute. And now we're gonna go on to the uh, competition. I'm sorry, we've got something to give away, but you won't get it in time for Christmas. So I do apologize. But what we need you to it's do- It's a New Year's gift to start 2022 the right way. Absolutely, absolutely. Full of optimism and joy. Yes. Uh, you may recall we went on uh, trade wind voyages at Golden Horizon earlier in the year. And we've got some inaugural voyage goodies to give away. Yes. So, bear with me while I go and... Drop we've got... Mm, they're in a box. I shouldn't have gone out of the box. Yeah. We've got this beautiful Tradewind Voyages China mug. I'll hold it up to this one. Camera B. Uh, probably can't see it. Camera B. Probably not even... Probably not even focusing on it. Beautiful bone China mug. And... A lovely little Trade Wind Voyages etched. Can you see that? Oh, maybe uh, etched. It's a. I think it's a whiskey nosing glass. Yes, it's nice. It? It's really so nice. that's really lovely. Can't and see the in that. actually, one of the nicest things is this, which is a. We've actually got one there. And the. Oh, and the glass. And the glass. There you go. We have um, this is a Golden Horizon inaugural season. Bone China, actually fine bone china made in Staffordshire, so it's a Stafford bone china commemorative plate. Isn't that lovely? And it's got, anyway, it's beautiful. So 
Oh, I'll put that on there. Oh, I can't hold anymore. Because there's more. I've run out of hands. Um, finally. Oh my goodness. I know, sorry about that. Don't break it, it's a prize. Um, we finally, we have a, oh, a Tradewind Voyages uh, Golden oh, Horizon. Nice. It's funny that, it's because it's, it's gold. A Golden Horizon Golden Flask. Nice. Pretty nice, actually. That. that is nice. Can we keep it? No, I've got to give it away. One, don't we? I we think do have one. We've got given two of everything. So we've we got given two of them. ourselves and giving one away. We are, aren't we? In order to win this lovely little goodie bag of uh, the tallest, uh, no, sorry, the largest um, square rig sailing ship in the world, and uh, once the inaugural season is over, I guess, these will become collector's items because they're not for sale. Um, or they might not be for sale for long. So to grab your hands on all this lovely stuff, all you've got to do is, uh, well, I think the first thing to do is just subscribe to us if you don't already. That would be really nice. Yes. Uh, like this video if you haven't done already, because that would be really nice. And uh, leave a comment uh, with the word trade win. Do you uh, see what's there? Trade uh, win. That's trade win without the D. See what I did there? No flies on you, is there? I tell you, well, there was earlier, but <laughs> trade win. So in your comment, please give us another comment as well, but also leave the word trade win in our description after pressing those two buttons, and you're in with a chance for a win. And what we'll do, we'll probably leave it open till when? The end of the year? Yes, I think December so. December the 31st. Yes. And we will select at random, we'll put everything in a mug, we all do that, don't we? Not stuff That's in as mugs. exciting as our New Year's Eve is going to get, pulling a name out of a hat. Yeah, we're, we're, actually, it is, yeah. yeah. We've been doing something very quiet this year. But we'll put all the names in the hat, and we will message you, and hopefully you'll win this, because actually, if you're a sailing boat enthusiast, or a cruise ship enthusiast, or just someone who likes bone china, and actually, if you collect bone china, it's quite a rare thing. Yeah, I think you're over-egging it now. Yeah. So, anyway, there you go. Happy Christmas. Uh, another piece of news we have uh, over this Christmas period is that we are doing a video Secret Santa. The great visit with us Secret Santa. Ho, ho, ho. The great visit with us Secret Santa. <laughs> I did tell you about this earlier. You obviously weren't listening to me. No. No. <laughs> Basically, what will happen is between uh, Christmas and New Year, we will oh. be producing and releasing... Um, seven videos, one a day between Boxing Day and New Year's Day. So it starts on Boxing Day, finishes at New Year's Day. In true Secret Santa style, they will be slightly different. Some of them will be slightly different. Most of them will be cruise related, but it's a Secret Santa, so you have to see what you're going to get. Yeah. Isn't that right? Yeah. So the visit with us, Secret Santa, starts on Boxing Day, ends on New Year's Day. Please be there. Oh, subscribe. So you can't miss it. Before we go on to the questions, Right, uh, 2022 is shaping up really nicely indeed. We've got lots and lots of things planned. Uh, we can't say anything at the moment. We can't say too much at all, can we? No. Because it's, uh, it's top secret. Apart from this clue. Apart from that clue, yes, that's a, that's a very quite an obvious clue. <laughs> but we can't say too much about 2022 at the moment, but uh, stay with us because it's gonna be a cracking year and there's gonna be some cracking videos. Isn't that right? Yeah. Hallelujah. Okay, now it's time for your questions. Now, on Chat With Us 4, we did ask for questions. And Thank you to everybody that submitted some questions. Really we got loads of questions. Nice questions. Loads Thanks and loads of questions. Yeah, questions. Lots of questions. And in true uh, Chat With Us style, we've a put Christmas them in a, a, well, it's in a, a Christmas snow, mug. A snowman mug. A snowman mug. So in this fabulous mug of questions, we have questions. Do you want to be the first one? Yes. Okay. Oh, rubbish, read the rubbish, question, rubbish. read I'm Christmas questions, oh, gosh, lots Christmas questions. I tell you, oh, we, we do need a glass of bubbly to go with, uh, with this chat with us. Ah, Rodney Palmer asked on YouTube. Hello, Robbie Palmer. Do you plan on doing a Regent cruise? Regent, very interesting question. And we've got to keep the answers quite short because we've got quite a few yeah. questions. Uh, yes, we do. Yeah, see, if we want to um, be able to compare the sort of luxury brands, Regent is up there. So it's definitely one that we would like to try so that we um, understand their product a bit more. Mm. So, yeah, definitely high on our list. What's next in the mug? Well, let me hold the mug and oh. you get to choose. Okay. Different view of Mr. Snowman. Mm. Here we go. Amit Rayner. Hello, Amit. Will you ever go on a carnival ship? Oh, gosh. Yes, we would love to try 
um, any of the cruise ships out there. Our, our ambition in life is to get on every ship out there. So, yes. Apart from cargo ships, not so keen on <laughs> yeah, those. No, Cru any cruise ships. Sorry. Ferries, let's, let's, ferries are at the bottom. Let's um, quantify no, no. that. Cruise ships. So, yes, we would like to try any ship mm. um, or any brand uh, at least once so that we... Um, Get around them all. We've, yeah, tried everything. Yeah, I mean, Carnival tend to be more US based, so we don't get yeah. an awful lot of Carnival. We certainly don't no. get any Carnival come to the UK. And, and time, timing is always mm. difficult, isn't it? Timing. Having the time. Exactly. Okay. Da, 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 da. Have you got right. two there? Nope. nope. Paul Parinello. Hi, Paul. Hello, asked. Paul. Will you be cruising on the new Enchanted Princess soon? I would love to hear your impressions Ooh, of that ship. I yes. tell you what, I tell you what, we were that close, that close to going on Enchanted. We had booked her inaugural voyage before the pandemic. Yeah. And that was cancelled. We were going to go on her this uh, December. November. Actually, yeah, this we, month. Yeah, we were, we were going to do... No, it was November we were November, looking at. In the Caribbean. Yeah. And that got scotched. Yeah, and we, something else came up and we just couldn't get out to that, could we? And there's a possibility we might do it in January, although we don't know because it's a toss-up between that and Regal. I think we'll definitely get on a princess ship in January. No, we do really want to try it. Oh, is it my turn? Your turn. No. Bring the Christmas mug of joy. Too many ships, too little okay. time. Hey, Peter Mann. Oh, hi, Peter. Hi, How Peter. are you? Will you adopt me? He says. <laughs> Slight curveball in the questions there. <laughs> Unfortunately, Peter, if we adopted you... We would probably not have enough time having a fourth child then to go on cruises. So it might be a dodgy one, that. Perhaps we should adopt him when we're on cruise ships and he just comes on all the cruise cruises, ships with us. Cru cruise ships, and yeah. And then he, yeah, we'll adopt him while we're on cruises yeah. rather than in real life. Yeah, but like we say to all our kids, Peter, you'll have to get your own room yeah. and pay for it yourself. And pay for yourself. Yeah, because we always say that, don't <laughs> we? It all applies to all our kids. <laughs> so welcome, fourth welcome child to the Peter. <laughs> Okay, so this question is from Robin. Hi, Robin. Hello, Robin. Which is the new ship that you're most excited to try and why? And in brackets, and I win a prize if it's one of the Emerald <laughs> Super Yachts. Well, you win sort of half a prize, Robin, because Emerald, one of the Emerald Super Yachts, you know, the Azure has just come out, hasn't it? It looks amazing. Oh, my goodness. Yes. That like looks to try that one. tickety That's boom. An impossible question to ask. Because there's lots of new ships. Because... Ritz Carlton. Very intrigued that by Seaborn's new um, venture. Venture. Seaborn venture. There's uh, the. Did you say? Am I allowed to say Silver Dawn? Or was yeah. It? No, there's Silver Dawn. Silver Dawn. Um, gosh, so many coming out this year, aren't there? There is. Well, and there's the Enchanted Princess, of course. Celebrity Beyond. Celebrity Beyond. One. Oh my goodness. Um, That's. Oh. Yeah. There's just so many. All of them. And we would love to try all Sorry, of those. Sorry if there's any that we've forgotten. Oh, the uh, Sylvia Earle, the uh, Aurora Expeditions. If you want to throw a curveball in there and get something a little bit different, Sylvia Earle. Yeah. Have you seen her? Yes, I have. She is a very different looking ship. Yeah. Like a brother. Or is it a sister? Even though the brother's called Greg Mortimer, is it still a sister ship? I don't know. Do you call Greg Mortimer a she? I don't know. Power of the edit. Warren Lindstrom says, hello, Warren. <laughs> this isn't a question, actually, Warren. This is a complaint. And it's we a good, compla it is a very good complaint. Did I we put complaints say. in here as well? It is a very if you good have a complaint, complaint, leave it in the comments below However, and we'll try to address is, the complaints. Uh, this is a good complaint because I do have Warren a... says, uh, still awaiting the dining guide for Viking Venus. Aren't we all? I can <laughs> confirm that by the time you watch this, the Viking Venus dining guide blog will be on the website. So that is there. So if you're um, interested in reading, you can read I'm about really the Viking... sorry, Warren. <laughs> you can read about the Viking Venus dining, dining guide. Yep. Um, still waiting for the video to come out. But hopefully yep. now the blog is there, there will be a video soon. Actually... So it's on the list. Actually, if you have any complaints, like Warren's... I mean, Warren's not a complaint. It's you a see, good, just, just it's a statement. It's a very valid If you have any complaints, um, please address them to our new adoptive son, Peter Mann. <laughs> Thank you. Right. Poor I'm sure he'll sort them. Poor Peter. <laughs> I'm sure he didn't sign up for that. We haven't actually met Peter on a ship yet, have no, we? No, we haven't. No. We will Must be getting sure. close. <laughs> Amy asks, Amy. <laughs> what cruise lines, itineraries or lo locations have you not been to or done that you're most interested to try? Which cruise lines, itineraries or locations, or locations have you not been to? 
that we'd like to try. Okay, well, for me, um, this is Don't always save your my, brother in Australia as well. Always my, well, yeah, my, this is always my top answer. I hopefully, we'll get to tick this off the bucket list and then I won't bore you with it all for, for much Well, you're bored us with the run-up to it. But my, my, the top of my cruising bucket list is um, Tahiti. Tahiti, and Bora, Bora, Bora Bora. And I would love She's to... getting actually boring, boring about it. I am it, getting boring, fair. boring about it. Apparently, I don't care which ship I do it on. I just really want to go to Bora Bora and Tahiti. So that's yeah. my cruise. The ones that are out there all the time, top. I think, are um, Windstar and Paul Gauguin. Yeah. And yeah, Arunai the, the, and, yeah, and Arunai. Blue Lagoon are out there as well. So, yeah. So, yeah, Tahiti, um, I would say also... That's my top bucket list. I would also say Antarctica. You also would like, very much like to do somewhere we haven't been, that a very hugely popular cruising destination is Alaska. Oh, yeah, so I'd love to do Alaska. that's high on Richard's yeah. bucket Well, both of us. But, um, and Canada and New England from New York. Yeah. Oh, the list is getting longer. Tight, well, how many, how many... We've got loads of questions left. Let's keep going, shall we? That's we can fun. always knock some out. Yeah. Paul Crane, what did you both do professionally pre-cruising? Hello, Paul Crane. Nice to e-meet you, That's as they nice, say. Nice to ask something about us. I have had a very varied career. I left um, school and trained as a nurse. So I was a registered general nurse, which I did for about 15 years. Um, and then following that, I sort of fell into teaching, which is... Um, a, a different career so I then you're a glutton for punishment aren't yeah. you yeah then I, so I then fire, taught in a six uh, six form college so teaching A levels um, in in health and psychology and sociology and subjects like that mine's a lot less varied than that unfortunately I, I, I am an accountant I am a qualified accountant and um, just don't want to do it anymore after 25 years but you weren't a um... very good accountant. No, no, you weren't a very good accountant. <laughs> I wasn't you weren't a good accountant, in um, I had some pretty practice. decent jobs. No, I weren't in practice. practice. No, I was in industry. Was in industry. I was in industry. I was a finance director. Yeah. And um, we just decided that you know enough was enough, really, especially with the pandemic. We thought we'd do something fun. Thanks for that question, Paul. Very good one. Right. Uh, next Is it my question? turn? Yeah. Lou. Lou Mello? Yeah. So, hi, Lou. And actually, Lou's one of our regulars. Yes, and, hi, Lou. Uh, thank you so much, Lou, for continuing to support us uh, by watching our videos, liking them and leaving comments. You're so good. And in fact, lots of people that have asked questions here are sort of regulars. And it's really lovely to have regular viewers and regular commenters, isn't it? We like to get to know you all. So yeah, exactly. It's really nice and it's nice you... to have the conversations as yeah. well, because if we can't meet you on cruises, um, in, in, in fact, you know, if we met you on cruise, we'd bore you to death of cruising, wouldn't we? You know, so um, hopefully one day we will meet as many people as possible. Yes. Um, but we do bore people and they end up walking off, don't they? Like you're doing me now. And then they avoid us for the entire cruise. Okay, so Lou says, thank you, Lou. Um, Lou says, do you have or done Antarctica? Do, do you or have, have you, you done, sorry, do you or have you done Antarctica? And are you interested in doing that in one of the, with one of the expedition lines? Well, Lou. Um, yeah, mum's the word, Lou. Hopefully, uh, Lou. Hopefully we'll have more news on that, maybe in the January chat with us. So the maybe January chat with us. Uh, it's definitely something we are uh, looking at, but, yeah, watch this space. We can't say anything at the moment. We can't say anything. No, oh, it's your turn. My turn. OK. So this question is from Thomas Green. Thomas Green. Oh, this is a good question for you. Oh, so, is it? Okay. Okay, so this is for a question probably for Rich. Mm -hmm. How do you select the music which plays in your videos? You always have wonderful music that enhances oh. your content. And oh, that's really nice of you. Music is very much down to Rich, so I'll let him answer that question. Well, thank you, Thomas. That's really nice. It's nice to have compliments, isn't it? It does make you feel like you're doing the right thing. You know, slight confirmation. But yes, the music we... Uh, I choose the music quite carefully. I like to... Well, I trawl through hundreds and hundreds of tracks trying to find the right sort of music that fits the mood of the scene. So it's not just something we throw together. Every element of the videos that we do, um, I go over and over and over and over again, don't I? And that includes the music, that includes the the colorization of it and the and, and how it looks and how it fits together and everything is so oh, and the narrative and everything. Oh. If you really want to see a really good example of it, 
then please um, just go back a few videos and have a look at our Emerald Cruises Douro Cruise because Douro Cruise sorry because Richard did that so well it was such a lovely introduction and the music really um, matched the uh, yeah, my ears. Yeah, it was did lovely. It, did, it, did it really? Oh, yeah, okay. It's one of oh, my favourites. Nice. So, uh, this is just for those of you that watched the last chat for us. We'll put a link to the video in the corner. <laughs> that corner, which is obviously not that corner. <laughs> so, that was just a little in joke. Can you point to the right corner just once? <laughs> yeah. We'll put a link to the video here. <laughs> Sorry. Come on, then point I to the could, There. Uh, yeah. That's the right corner. Gonna... Sorry. <laughs> But, <laughs> we'll put a link across the bottom. No, we can't put a link across the bottom. As you can see, Richard is the artistic one. I'm the one that does all the practicalities and the planning, and I'm not very good with any of the artistic editing. But I'm not very stuff. good with the practicalities of the planning. So, together as one, or something like that. I just made that up. But you know what's like, um, Ebony and Ivory. Ebony and Ivory. Do you remember that? Together. Michael Jackson and Paul McCartney. Something, something. <clears throat> together in perfect harmony. Oh, I think that was a it. Christmas song as well. Yes. Harmony. So we're like ebony and ivory. Only this morning I said to him, I literally spend my life following you around, tidying up while you're making creative mess. Hmm. Good job I'm not a painter. No. I'm an artist. That was the I conversation mean, you, you in our would, house this morning. You're probably not, probably not like that, would you? No. Is there one last question? One last question. Oh. Last one last question. question. Dee -dee 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 -dee. Dave Smith says, <laughs> actually, hi Dave. This is not a question. This is a statement of fact. Okay, so we've had we've had a mild complaint. We've had several <laughs> questions, and now we've got a statement of fact. Well, so I don't thanks, think Dave. The complaint was a complaint. It was a statement of fact. If too. we do something, if we say something that's wrong in a chat with us or, or in a video, please correct us, and we will produce that as a statement of fact, so that people <laughs> are not misled. Okay, because we like to, you know. Um, and Dave Smith says, the world, open brackets if done correctly, close brackets is stronger than the surrounding metal. <laughs> and that was in our last chat with us. That for was. those of you that watched it, if you haven't watched it, please go back and watch it. We were talking about Windstar and Star Pride being chopped in half and a new bit put in. And I was decrying Richard's DIY skills. Um, so obviously now I have to apologise to him because he was correct. No, and I, he obviously I, I knows more about DIY than he lets on. Mm, I would never attempt to do a weld. No, okay. no please don't. not on a ship. You did, you did, actually, to be fair, he did once actually sort of build us a house. We did. No, together we did that. About 20 together years ago. Was one. Not Ebony. the house we're living in now, but we did build our own house at one point. It, we were the ebony and ivory of house builders, weren't we? We did a lot of it ourselves. Not anything too complicated like plumbing or electrics, but... No, no, but we did all the... So, uh, we're boring, boring. all the house stuff now. Yeah, that's boring. Okay. Before you click away, please, 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 please don't because there are three things. I think there's three things anyway. The first one is uh, do not forget that between Christmas and New Year is the Visit With Us Secret Santa. Okay, so we're going to do one video a day between Boxing Day and New Year's Day. We Most might save the best one until last on New Year's Day. Four or five minutes mm. long. They won't well, be like long. a secret Santa, you don't yeah. know what you're going to get. No, they won't be long videos. Yeah, so. you're not going to know what you're going to get. Please subscribe for that one. Press the bell notification because actually what will happen is you'll get a little bell every day saying your secret Santa has arrived. Isn't that nice? Also, don't forget the Christmas giveaway. The beautiful bone china stuff from Tradewind. It really is lovely. Honestly, once you get it in your hand and you have a look at it, it's, it, is, it is gorgeous. It is a lovely thing. We did ask Trade Room whether we could give a set away. So we're not just sort of saying, you know, oh, we've got a present, we're giving it away. You know, like you do with bad Christmas presents. And you give it away, you give it away to someone for their birthday. No, we and did it's ask like, Trade Wind. So we did ask Trade Wind and they said, yeah, absolutely fine. Give it as a prize. So we're doing this for the blessing of Trade Wind anyway. Um, they're not sponsoring us for it. But we just thought it'd be nice because actually we love the set that we've got so much. We want someone else to have one. So. And for that, all you need to do is subscribe, like, and put trade win in the comments, with your other comments, of course, but as long as you've got the word trade win in that comment, uh, you'll be entered into the prize draw, which will probably be the end of the year. New, New Year's so. Eve, New Year's Day, we'll, we'll draw the prize and we'll let you know who won in the um, January chat with us. Yeah, so. and then the, the January chat with us might come from a location, a special loca location, location, a secret location. A secret location on well, a secret ship. we don't know ship. yet, do we? No, we've got a well, fair idea. we're hoping idea. we're going to be away in January. Yeah. Omicron 
allowing. Aunt Macron, Aunt Macron. <laughs> okay. So I'm not that, why are we laughing? The about Lord Omicron. Omicron. It's not funny. No, it isn't, is it? Actually, we had our boosters, didn't we? We did. And they're very good. So um, it didn't affect us at all. No side effects whatsoever. Bad side effects. Was I, that, didn't. I didn't. I didn't you know what you said. What did you say? <laughs> Alongside that, obviously, please leave us some more questions because without questions, we won't be able to do another chat with us. Well, we will, but yes, be very please short, leave very us boring. questions. Please, 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 please so, leave us some questions. All that's left is to say after three, one, two, three, Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas and have a lovely, lovely New Year. Stay healthy. Stay safe. Have fun. Do cruising. Bye. How long have we got to do this for? I don't know. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> <laughs>